So really short intro of what we're, what we're here to do. Uh, New York Foundation in the last year has implemented an online grant system for both applications and reporting and especially issuing grant agreements and payments. And uh, I really praise Isabel and Senna a lot for working patiently with me to customize that for the neighborhood's first process. Because as you all probably know, we don't do a competitive or an open RFP. We don't ask for a letter of interest or a multi-step process. We invite folks to, to apply for a grant. And when we invite, it means we intend to fund the group. And then on top of that, right now, we're in the third year of a three-year commitment we made to all grantees that we would renew grants that we made in 2021, 22, and 23. So there, I just want to say from the outset that there isn't, when you fill out this application, you are not applying. You are providing us with the information we need to renew your grant for a third year. Hi, Susanna. Okay. Hey folks, sorry to be late. That's okay. Welcome. We're just we're just starting. This will be recorded if anybody needs to refer to it. So anyway, so this is our first time, uh, neighborhoods first, first time with an online system. Like I said, Isabel and Senna were really great about customizing it so that it, you know, it's not a competitive system. We only ask you for information that we neighborhoods first really need to have to make your grant. And because this year is going to be the first time out, um, you know, if there if any issues, if any bugs surface, please just let us know. And we'll we'll repeat that at the end. Um, so um, we are you can be absolutely sure if your organization got a grant from us last year, that you will get a grant from us again this year. We are not sure right now of the grant amounts because we're still in the process of raising enough money to hit the goals that we set for ourselves, but we will be able to make those decisions fairly soon. So with that, let me turn it over to Isabel and Senna to actually walk you through what the application looks like. If you have questions while they're presenting, you can obviously you can put something in the chat. Uh, and certainly we're going to reserve some time at the end for questions and answers. So either whatever you're comfortable with. So take it away, Isabel and Senna. Hi, everyone. Um, welcome and thanks for joining us today. Um, I am going to share my screen um, so you can see the online application uh, portal. Uh, many of you have probably already used it, but um, just want to take you through the NFF application. Um, so to apply, you could um, I know Joe will be sharing the link, <clears throat> excuse me, but you could also go to our website and click on the apply button on the first page, uh, New York Foundation website, and it'll take you to this screen where then you'll put in your email address and password and click on log on. Um, if you forget your password, just click the forgot your password and you will get an email to reset it. Um, once you log in, it takes you to the screen um, where you would enter an access code that um, it's it will be in uh, FF 2023. Um, you enter code and then the application um, appears here. Um, where you could click apply. You could also view the application ahead of time. Um, if you do that, just be sure, like you need to realize that you're in there because if you try to fill it out, um, the information won't save. 
So that's just a little side note I wanted to give you. Um, so let's click on apply. And then it opens up to your application. Um, and at this point, I will let um, Senna take over, walk you through um, the application itself. Thanks, Isabel. Hi, everyone. So the first thing you'll see is your own contact information as well as the organization's information. Unfortunately, you, I believe you might not be able to edit this. So if there are any changes or updates that you need to make to this information, my email is included down below in the renew application. So feel free to email me with information and I can update it. So if we move down further, oh, and I do want to mention that this application does save on its own while you move through it. But then if you also just want to make sure you save it, you can go all the way down to the bottom and select the save option. So the first thing that you have to provide is the proposal narrative. And we do accept proposals that you have provided to other funders where you discuss your organizing and or advocacy goals for the year. So you would select yes, and then this allows you to upload a file. If you don't have a proposal that you want to use um, that has been used for another funder, you select no. And this will enable you to just copy and paste your narrative. So down below, you need to provide your financial information. You're starting off with your organization's fiscal year. So for example, just say if it's from January to December or July to June, et cetera. And then we need you to provide your total organizational budget for the current fiscal year. But in the, this section here, we just want the actual amount. And then we ask for your last year's actual income and expenses, which you can upload, followed by the total organizational budget for your current year. So the actual document, this is where you can upload it. In the case that your organization or group has a fiscal sponsor, we do need you to please provide your fiscal sponsor agreement and it would be in this section. So moving forward, we also ask you to provide your, the demographics for your executive director and the constituency that you serve. And this information, the reason why we ask for it is just to keep ourselves on track and make sure that we maintain ourselves committed to our intersectional racial equity goals and priorities. But this information does not make or break your application. So you'll be able to see down below the information that we are asking for your executive director. And then further down, we ask about the constituency that you serve. And once you provide that information, we go into the staff and board. So we want the number of staff that you have, including full-time and part-time staff, followed by the number of board members that your organization has. We also need a list of your board members, which you can just, um, you can link it to your website if you have that information, but there should be an option here as well that allows you to just type in um, that information or upload it. Let's say you have a Word document with the list, you can upload that as well. All right, we also need a list of your current funders. So you could just type that out. And if there is any additional materials or information that you think that we should know or NFF, um, this is a place where you can include any additional materials. So next, we're almost to the end. It's not such a long as application as it may seem. We ask about the key contacts. So whoever is the person that is going to be signing the grant letter, their information should be going here. Reminder that if you are fiscally sponsored, you'll be providing the name of the signatory at the fiscal sponsor organization and bill.com. I am not sure if all of you have used bill.com before, but this is the portal or the system that we use to provide um, e-payments when we give out our grants. And so it's pretty easy to just create a free account. We are providing here the instructions as well as a quick tutorial. But if you have any questions um, in terms of setting up the account, please feel free to email me. My email is right there, estevaris at nyf.org. 
And bill.com, when you have an account, it provides you with a payment network ID, which is connected to your bank account information. Um, that's how we get the funds over to you. We need that information. And even if we have been connected in the past, we still ask that you provide that information because things might change and we want the most up-to-date uh, financial information. Um, once you provide the PNI, we also need the payment primary contact information. Um, and that would be whoever manages the awards at your organization or at the fiscal sponsors organization if you have a fiscal sponsor. And then this is it. The very last question is in a minute, how long did it take you to complete the application? And once you're ready to go, you submit the application. If you're not ready yet to submit, you'll save it. So with that, I'll open it up to any questions that folks may have, or I'll pass it on to Joan. Thank you, Sana. Thank you, Isabel. Of course. It's pretty straightforward. <laughs> Yeah. How many can I just ask how many people have done online applications for other funders or for New York Foundation before? Okay, so we, we hope this won't be like the worst application that you ever have to do. Um, uh, as Senna said, her email is on the form. You can obviously also email me anytime if you have questions about the application or the process. Um, the couple other pieces of information, you won't get the invitation until whatever quarter your organization normally renews with us. So there's only four lucky organizations that are going to be in the first quarter. Right to Council, NYC is one of them. Uh, and you, you and um, the other three organizations, which are all city or statewide coalitions, will be the first guinea pigs for this system. Uh, and then after that, we go quarter by quarter. So whatever time in the year your organization got invited to renew last year, roughly that same time is when you get the invitation. So don't panic that you don't have the login information and the code and all that yet. It'll come when we actually send out a letter confirming this is your invitation to apply. And that letter uh, and also the, you know, the form when you log in to do your application will give the grant amount. Like I said, we're still raising money for this year. You know, we don't, you know, we, I can tell you for sure, we don't have as much money this year as we had last year. Probably everybody's grants are gonna be a little less than they were last year, but we're working to kind of minimize the pain of that cut. So you'll know when you get the invitation from us what the grant amount is, as well as all the information you need to do the login. Um, Emily, you're, I'm looking at your question and you don't, you shouldn't have login information for Neighborhoods First as of yet. I don't know whether, you all, whether you currently have an account with New York Foundation that you're trying to log into? Ah, okay. Yeah, so the, the information that you use to log into New York Foundation won't get, get you into Neighborhoods First because we haven't created those logins yet. Any other questions? Well, we don't need to take any more of your afternoon. Thank you for spending this time with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Have a good evening. A good afternoon. Oop. Thank you, Susanna. We'll talk. Thank you so much. Take care. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Okay, I see. Somebody is just joining us now, so we will refer them to the recording. But but we'll get their their intro first. Tanya, are you there?
Did we stop the recording? Hi, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I said I apologize for being late. I ran late from another meeting.